<laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> wow. I'm just giving the patients um fat um wanna give you your flowers and some champagne chow. I've made it my own personal goal to just, you know, try and learn as many things as possible because I don't know um, how long it's going to take me to um, actually start practicing as a registered nurse after my board exams or, um, you know, if I'm ever going to be able to find a job that allows me to do what I currently do now. So it's important for me to want to learn as many things as possible in the shortest time as possible or in the shortest time I have um, so that I ensure I'm competent whenever I get a job or if I get a job, that is. Actually, yeah, I will. Um, okay, so my plans for the day are to practice on the skills that I feel like I'm not competent in. Um, so I was kind of help out in the ward, you know, if they need any um, sort of assistance with certain procedures, even though I am, I feel like I am competent to them, but I'm there to help out either way. So, yeah. So we're going to do a quality improve improvement plan today. Um, we're going to be ordering um, scheduled medication. We ha have, um, like, dates where we order medications. For example, um, less than schedule five, we typically order on a certain day, and then schedule five, six, and seven, there's a specific day allocated for that. So um, yeah, today I'm gonna order um, scheduled drugs um, and help the sisters go to the pharmacy to pick it up. So yeah, right now it's currently, what time is it? Don't even have my phone with me. Um, I think it's, 27 and I have to be at the ward in five minutes. So I'm running late. I'm done giving my medication to the patients. I have done chartings for the day. So I'm just gonna wait until I'm visiting. So I'm just giving um, the families time to bond with the patients. And then at four o'clock, I'm just gonna go back to my patients. So right now it's half past seven. Um, I left the ward at seven o'clock. So what I usually do when I get home immediately is to just take a shower because I am so tired, so exhausted. Um, the day has had its effect on me and I always find that a long hot shower just does the trick. So I did shower. Right now I'm about to eat. I have leftover food from lunch. You guys saw me eating lunch. So I'm just gonna eat on that. And then um, I have notes or conditions which I wrote in the unit, which were new to me. Even as a third year student, you're always going to find um, conditions which you've never heard of before. So what I just do is when I'm on my bed after eating and when I'm relaxed, I just go to Google. Um, okay, so preferably log into up to date if you have the credentials or the hospital has the credentials. If you don't have, you can always use WebMD. It always works just as well it's great actually so i just go on up to date 
I Google those conditions and just read up on them. And tomorrow, if I have any other questions, I can ask the registered nurses in the ward tomorrow. So, um, yeah, for now, I'm just gonna go back to bed, watch a movie, eat some popcorn after I'm done eating my actual stuff. <laughs> Um, yeah, so after I'm done having my actual food, I'm just gonna snack on some popcorn. That's if I'm still hungry. If I'm not hungry, I'm just gonna watch a movie. Um, preferably Scandal. So I'm currently on season six. Um, I think it's episode five. Yeah, season six, episode five. And I'm just gonna binge on that. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for spending the day with me. Okay, so today is day three of me being in the hospital. And um, so far, I've really enjoyed my week. Um, it's been such a world. Um, it's been such an experience. It's been so exhilarating for me. Um, also, I think partly because it's clicking in that I'm finally done at school. And um, the reality of it is also so unsettling. But it feels so good to have done everything in my power to be here. You know, I'm here. Um, today, I'm just trying to reaffirm myself that I'm here because of all my efforts and um, what I've tried to do over the years. Um, it is not by mistake. I really do deserve to be here because also what gets to you is the imposter syndrome. So um, it's very important to always just continue reassuring yourself. And I think today I woke up, I was excited, but I was also anxious, you know, to say, um, do I really deserve to be here? Is this me? Is it by mistake? Um, did I really do everything in my power to have been here? You know, could I have done better? You know, but um, yeah. So um, right now it's currently ten to seven. I'm late again. <laughs> so nothing's new. Um, so I really do need to rush right now and get to the ward before they start taking the report. And yeah, I'll see you guys during my lunch break. Bye. close off the vlog thank you so much for spending these last few days with me um i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i loved creating it um thank you so 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 much for watching for making it to the end of the video please subscribe if you haven't please like and share this video so that it can be able to reach a whole lot more people please let me know also if this is the type of content that you'd love to be seeing from me and yeah i'll try and make more i really wanted to take you guys you know show you guys more of what i get up to but there's just so much red tape around um creating content or the use of video and photography inside the hospital especially inside the units because you have to consider patients privacy as well as um certain policies within the hospital itself but um i just really tried to vlog as much as i could just to show you guys what an average day in my life looks like as a student so thank you so 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 much once again for watching thank you so much for making it to the end of the video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye <laughs> I wanna give you your flowers and some champagne chow